Hello everyone, welcome back to Pep Coding. So the question which we will solve today is called Josephus Special. So first let us understand the question and then we will talk about the solution. So we have been given a number n. Let's suppose n is 10. So 10 numbers or 10 elements are sitting in a circle. 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now we have to kill every alternative element. So if I start from 1, then then 4 will be killed, 5 will survive, 6 will be killed, 7 will survive, 8 will be killed, 9 then 10, 1 and 3, 5 and 7, 9 and 1, 5 and 9. So 5 will be the survivor. Similarly, if n will be equal to 8, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 3. 5, 7, 1, 5. So, 1 will survive. Then if n was 12, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 1, 5, 9, 1. So, 9 will be the survive. So, what we have to do is, we have to print the survive. Okay. This is my question. Now, how will we be able to do this? See, I am saying that if I have n, I can represent it as 2x plus l. Where 2 raised to power x stands for the nearest possible value to n which is in the power of 2 and l will be the remaining part so basically if 9 is my n then 2 raised to power x will be 8 l will be 1 if i have 19 as my n then 2 raised to power 4 that is 16 will be the nearest value 3 will be L. So in this way we will find out. Right. So I have the formula. N to be equal to 2x plus L. Now I am saying that my survivor. Will be given by 2L plus 1. Now I have made a statement. But how to be sure. Let's just cross check. I am saying survivor should be equal to 2L plus 1. So I will take the numbers. 1, 2, Let's say 8 over here. That will be enough to show us a proof. 7 and 8. Here I will write down 2 raised to power x plus l. And here I will write down 2l plus 1. Okay. And over here. Let's write down the value of the survivor which should come. Okay. Is this is... Okay, so my expected survivor will come over here. Okay, so for 1, it should be 1 only. For 2, 1 and 2, 2 will be killed. So 1 is the survivor. For 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. So 3 will be the survivor. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 and 2. 1 will be the survivor. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 and 2. 3 will be the survivor. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 and 2. So 5 will be the survivor. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1 and 2. So, 7 will be the survivor. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2 and 1, 2. So, 1 will be the survivor. Okay. Now, let's write down 2x plus L. So, this will be 2 raised to power 0 plus 0, 2 raised to power 1 plus 0, 2 raised to power 1 plus 1, 2 raised to power 2 plus 0. 2 raised to power 2 plus 1, 
टू रेज टू पावर टू प्लस टू टू रेज टू पावर टू प्लस थ्री एंड दिस विल बी टू रेज टू पावर थ्री प्लस जीरो सो दिस विल बी टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन टू इंटू वन प्लस वन टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन टू इंटू वन प्लस वन टू इंटू टू प्लस वन टू इंटू थ्री प्लस वन एंड टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन नाउ कंपेयर दिस टू दिस वन एंड दिस वन दे आर एग्जैक्टली द सेम so we have proved that this formula is going to be right now how will we do this using bit manipulation see let us suppose that n is given to be 7 okay so 1 will be 0 0 1 2 that is 0 1 0 3 that is 0 1 1 4 that is 1 0 0 5 that is 1 0 1 Six that is one one zero and seven one one one. Using these, we have to find out the survivor. So see, first thing we will do is I'll let you know how to find out twelve plus one. So basically, we have n over here, one one and one. This can be represented as one zero zero plus one one. So this will be equal to two raised to power x, and this part will be l. Now we got zero one one as my L. Now, if I want to make it as two L, I can simply shift these by one bit, right? Because this is equivalent to three over here. So, if I shift them by one, or if I want to find out two L, it should be six. Shift these over here, I'll get one one zero. This is equal to four plus two, that is six. So, we can say that I just have to shift them by one over here. So, over here I will have. Zero one one was my L, so one one zero becomes two L. Okay, now to this, if I add one, will this will become two L plus one? So my survivor should be two L plus one. That now we proved this. So now see, what we are going to do is first, every time in this column which is zero will be killed. So zero will be killed. This is killed. This is killed, and this is killed. Now over here, the last digit is one, right? So in this, in this place, one will survive. Zero will be killed. So this will be killed. Then over here, this will be killed, right? Now over here also I have one. So over here also zero will be killed, and one will survive. So zero will be killed. This is remaining. So one 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 will be my two l plus one, and this should be the answer. Similarly, if I have n to be twelve, then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve. One will be zero 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 one zero zero one zero 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 one one zero one zero zero. Zero one zero one, zero one one zero, zero one one one, zero one zero zero zero, one zero zero one, one zero one zero, one zero one one, and one one zero zero. Okay. So for twelve, we need to find out over here. Zeros will be killed. So one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Over here I have zero, so ones will be killed. So this will survive, killed, survive, killed, survive, and killed. Again I have zero, so ones will be killed. This will survive, this will be killed, this will also survive. Now I have one, so here zeros will be killed. So this will be killed, and I have one zero zero one remaining. Now see, over here one was surviving. Over here zero was surviving, here zero was surviving, and here one was surviving. So one zero zero one is my answer, and this will be equal to the two two l plus one which I required, and this will be my final answer. Okay. So now we've understood this part. Now how will we do this? See, if I find that l is equal to one one, I need to find, I need to find two l and two l plus one from this. So if I want to find two L, 
I need to shift them by one bit, right? I'll use left shifting for that. If I do left shift one time, what will I get? 1, 1, 0. And if I want 2L plus 1, so I will add 1, 1, 0 plus 1, which will give me 1, 1, 1. And this will be the answer. Now see, if I say that I want to find out the left shift, then how will I do this? See, if I have, let's suppose, I want to find out left shift by saying that I want L as 1, 1. Now, if I say that my value of N is 9, okay, let's say the value of N, N is 9 and I have I'm starting from 0. I'm going to do left shift of 1, right? We have discussed this earlier also. That if I want to find out the power of 2, then I do left shifting of 1. So if I do left shift of 1 by 0, I will have 1, which is less than 9. If I do left shift of 1 by 1, I will have 1, 0, which is equal to 2, which is less than 9. If I do left shift of 1 by 2, I will have 1, 0, 0, which is equal to 4, which is less than 9. If I do left shift of 1 by 3, I will have 1, triple 0, which is equal to 8, which is less than 9. If I do left shift of 1 by 4, I will have 1 and 4 times 0, which is equal to 16, which is now greater than 9. So I don't want any number greater than 9. So the nearest value will be the one where answer will be 1 less than my current answer, right? So I can say that the nearest value or the nearest power of 2 will be 1 left shifted by answer minus 1. So this is what I am going to do over here. I will find out nearest power by taking a function power of 2. Okay. And in this I am passing my n. Then I will write the function. Okay. Int power of 2 in 10. Okay. In this I am starting from 0. While... 1 left shifted by answer is less than equal to n. We will increase answer by 1. And finally we will return 1 left shifted by answer minus 1. Okay. Now this value I have in np. Right nearest power. Now n was equal to 2 raised to power x plus l. 2 raised to power x is my np over here and l I have here. If I want to find out l, I can safely write n is l is equal to n minus np. So I will use this formula now. Over here, int l will be equal to n minus np. Okay. And I need to return 2 into l plus 1. Now let's run this. So this is correct. We will submit this. So we got the correct answer. Okay. I will just quickly check for you this function so that you have an idea of what we did over here because this is the main function. Okay. So let's suppose n was equal to 5. I started answer from 0. Shift by 0. I will get 1 which is less than 5. Answer will increase. Then Shift by 1. I have 1, 0 which is equal to 2 which is less than 5. Then I will make this as 2. Left shift by 2. 1, 0, 0. Right? Which is equal to 4 which is less than 5. So this is still true. Answer will become 3. Then I will left shift by 3. Answer will become 1, triple 0 which is 8 which is now greater than 5. So I will return to it 1, left shift of answer that is 3 minus 1 which will become 1 left shift of 2 which in this case will be 4 so we will return 4 over here so over here i'll have 4 then for l i will have n minus 4 that is 5 minus 4 so l will become 1 okay so in this case 2 into l that is 2 into 1 plus 1 will give me 3 
and three will be my survivor. So let's check if three is the survivor. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, one, two, one, two. So five. And then one second. We have five still here. And three will kill five. So three will be my survivor. Right. So our answer is correct. Okay. So we discussed about this with special. I hope you understood the question as well as the solution. So thank you for watching. Please keep practicing. We will see each other in the next video. Till then, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.